lightweight aluminum frame, full micro shift advent one by nine drivetrain with trigger shifters, hydraulic disc brakes with adjustable levers, 31.8 millimeter handlebars, internal dropper post ready, boost through axle. You would think I'm talking about an adult's bike. I'm not. This is a kid's mountain bike. A serious one too. Mountain biking isn't just for adults anymore. Kids are getting in on the action too now, and they're doing it with some serious style on bikes like the Specialized Rip Rock 20. The days of heavy, single speed, coaster brake kids bikes that can barely make it up and down a hill are gone. Today's young riders demand top quality components, durable construction, and a bike that can handle the toughest trails that they can throw at it. So if you're ready to take your kids mountain biking game to the entire next level, stick around while I give you the details of the new Specialized Rip Rock 20, a mountain bike dedicated to young rippers. Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Joe and this is Grayson MTB where we talk about trails, mountain bike stuff, and family uh, adventures. Today we're going to be talking about the Specialized Rip Rock 20. Grayson just got this for his birthday. He's coming from a Trek Precaliber 16 all the way to a 20 inch bike. Now this bike is designed for 6 to 10 year olds, however it's all about how tall they are, not necessarily their age. Grayson got this bike when he was just turning five and he was the perfect height for it. All right, so I read somewhere that bikes shouldn't really exceed 40 to 50% of the rider's weight, which is perfect because Grayson's about 42 pounds right now and his bike weighs in in about 22 pounds, which means he's very confident when he's picking it up, when he's riding it, when he's leaning into the turns. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're probably like, ah, it's just an adult version size down to a kid dimensions. Well, that's not true. Specialized specifically designed this bike for young riders. So it has a low standover height. It's super lightweight aluminum. It's got trigger shifted gears. It's got smaller grips for their hands and it's got adjustable hydraulic brakes. This is all specifically designed for little riders. Now, a lot of you might be thinking hydraulic disc brakes, that's overkill for a kid's bike. Hold that thought. Not really. If you think about it, what's the difference between cable disc brakes and hydraulic disc brakes? They're easier to actuate, right? And they're a little bit more consistent. That's perfect for a kid. They have small hands. They don't have the same strength that an adult has. Giving them hydraulic disc brakes isn't necessarily overkill. It's actually really good for them because they don't have to pull as hard on the lever as you normally would on any other kid's bike. So it stops consistently and reliably every single time. Trigger shifted gears. Yes, it has an Advent eight speed transmission. I believe it's upgradable to an 11 speed cassette. Um, cockpit geometry, manual, standover height, seat tube length. Oh, it's a nine speed. Huh. Either way, trigger shifting is awesome. Have you even, do you remember the, the grip shifts? It was so weird and awkward. You had to move your, your grip inward and you had to twist your wrist. Forget it. He uses his thumb. It's so much easier. It took him about two hours to learn and he's still kind of figuring out when he needs to shift before he gets to a hill. But within time, that's all downhill. See that joke? That was a joke. I like that one. Trigger shifters also, because he's only using his thumb, it allows him to keep the whole grip on the handlebars. Again, the handlebars are 31.8 millimeter standard stem in the middle, but they tapered down the 19 millimeters. So he has a full grip on the handlebars. This thing comes with oversized tires, which is pretty nice. We run them at about 12 to 15 PSI. They do have inner tubes. I heard a rumor that you can make them tubeless. More on that later. And it allows him to have a little bit more cushion when he hits those hard rocks or those roots. And it, it acts like a suspension fork. I don't think a suspension fork is really useful in terms of a 42 pound kid because it's just gonna add unnecessary weight and make the bike heavier. And then it's gonna be over 50% of his body weight, which, you know, is a no-go. Call me crazy, but I'm also excited that he can now have his own water bottle because it has a water bottle mount on the bottom of the frame. I don't like him using my water bottles because he's a little backwasher, ugh. That's okay, he's got his own water bottle now. Super excited. I like even the attention to details like the little fender it has over the front tire that's integrated into the fork, which is awesome because the moment he gets dirt in his eyes, he's gonna be a little prima donna and stop riding. Not really, but still, the fender's nice. All right, so I'm no expert in this bike because it's his bike and not mine. He's the one riding it, not me. 
But from a dad's perspective, here's what I've noticed. It's got super low gearing, which is really nice for him because one of his biggest pet peeves when he was on the trail with me is that on his pre-caliber 16 single speed, he was always frustrated because he would have to stop, jump off the bike and walk it up. And then he looks back and sees me pedaling up the hill and he would feel some type of way about that. So now he can shift all the way to the lowest gear, get up the hill and not have to dismount the trigger shifting, he picked up very, very fast. I showed him the two buttons. I said, hey buddy, the big button is for pedaling easier and the little button is for going faster. And that's all he needed. <laughs> Hydraulic disc brakes, I'm telling you right now, that kid flies down the trails. Now he flies down the trails well knowing that he can stop at the very last minute that my nerves will accept. Needless to say, the hydraulic brakes work really good for a 42 pound rider. I'm curious about what he thinks. Let's go get him. So I just, I just, I just break this button and this button. I'm so happy I got some buttons because I like buttons so I can press on my bike. Like, like you, you got them too. I do, I do. So you got a big boy bike now, huh? And what about mommy? Mommy's got buttons too. To a kid's perspective, the bike comes in some super awesome, nice, glossy colors. You have lilac with black lettering, sky blue with white lettering, like Grayson's favorite color, that's why he picked it. You have oasis, which is kind of like a mint color, and then you have flow red, which is super, like race red which is really cool. This bike is specifically designed for kids. It has a low standover height, which makes it really easy for them to get on and off. Even the drivetrain is geared towards little kids. Geared towards little kids. Yeah, the cranks, they're 115 millimeters. They're not your standard, so they're made for little pedalers. This thing is fully decked out with a Micro Shift Advent 9 speed. You got a 30 tooth chain ring up front and 11 to 42 teeth cassette in the back. Plenty of low gear to climb like daddy. The Specialized Rip Rock 20 is a great choice for serious young mountain bike riders. The reason why is because there was specialized attention to detail. This bike was designed for kids from the tires all the way up to the saddle and the mini handlebars and it inspires kids to be confident and ride to their fullest potential. And he does. I'm pretty sure there's going to be an emergency visit coming up in our um, near future with the way he rides. You got it, you got it. All the way up, good job. The nice thing is, is all these components are maintainable. They're well-known brands and they're serviceable, which is a huge plus and upgradable. Yes, I know, Joe, why would you upgrade a 20 inch kid's mountain bike? I just have to do it. If you have a kid who's trail ready and they need a bike that'll meet their needs, the Specialized Rip Rock 20 is right up your alley. We got ours at Sonoya Bicycle Co. in Sonoya, Georgia, and those guys are absolutely amazing. Sam, and you hadn't done any handlebar adjustments? Nothing, like this? nothing. All right, let me, let me mm -hmm. make this better. There you go, you got it. So that's the problem. There you one. go. I need about five more pounds in it. <laughs> <laughs> Links to the Specialized Rip Rock 20 can be found below, along with Sonoya Bicycle. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're not done. We're gonna do a couple upgrades to this bike as time goes on, and we're gonna do a long-term review as well. And remember, life is a journey, not a destination. Thanks for joining us on our family mountain biking journey. We'll see you on the trails.